are doomed. I haven't forgotten what you did at the Ocean Palace. You will now forfeit your life. And it's an another do boss time. Is that what we're going for here? We're going for another boss time. And it's just a, f a mask and two disembodied hands. I, I don't understand. But it's zeal somehow. Uh, okay, for this one, uh, strategy is different. Strategy is definitely different. The hands have a counterattack. So, you do not want to... Uh, you don't want to hit the hands. If you can avoid it. I do need to heal Lani and Luke, so let's go ahead and start that off. And then we can start hasting people again. Skygate Lightning! No! Not Lightning! Uh, oh, well that's crap. You go ahead and do that all damn day. Uh, so we're not going to use any multi-targeting attacks, which unfortunately is all that Luke has. So we are going to just focus on the face. That is our strategy. So you need to haste first yourself, and then um, you need to, to cast Confuse on the face. When you can't see where the, the pointer is pointing, it's pointing at the face. So that's what she wanted to do. All right, so we might not have enough MP, uh, honestly, to finish this off because Zeal has a ton of HP. I mean, after all, she is after the Mammon Machine, so she is technically tougher than the Mammon Machine. But yeah, do not attack the hands. But they do. I believe the one on the left uh, does uh, something that reduces your HP to one. The one on the right takes all your MP. Do not attack them. Do not attack the hands. Alright, you definitely need to heal yourself. Heal back to full. We might have to use some kind of ethers or something like that. I don't want to, though. I don't want to. But it looks like I'm gonna have to. I hate using items. Even though we are so close to the end of the game that I should not have a problem with it. I still do. I still do, for whatever reason. Go confuse! After this, I'm definitely going to need to start using more ethers. Down it goes. Come on. No, of course not. we got a long ways to go. Alright, haste on, uh, on that. She's kind of more important. That is what we need to do. Of course, because Vash has, you know, attacks that he can do. Alright, so you need to heal yourself. Uh, now you can go for Hyper Ether there, since all you can really do is a, a physical attack, which is nice, but, you know, I'd rather do something else, so... Are you kidding me? Not enough to kill Luke! Not enough to kill Luke! Not even close. Alright, uh, haste on Luke, and then we should be good. Should be good unless he gets attacked again. I sure hope he doesn't, though. And then we should be all set. I think that is haste on everybody, so you can wait your turn. Oh, jeez, I was wondering who are you attacking? That's that's taking forever. Okay, let's go for uh, spin cut. Why not? Just so that we can get another heal off. 964, not bad, not bad. Uh, you need to get a cure too on Luke. And then we can start actually doing the attacks that I want to do, which is the strongest dual tech that I have that only, what am I doing? That only hits one enemy, and that is Ice Sword 2. Will you let me do it? Will you please let me do it? And let's see, where is that? Ice Sword 2, there we go. It is Ice 2 and Confuse, so we're going to bust through a lot of MP here, to be honest with you, but I'm okay with that. Still have all my Mega Elixirs left over. Mega Elixirs, I should say. Uh, speaking of which, you can uh, charm a Mega Elixir, I believe, off the right arm. And then uh, the left arm has the Prism Helm, and the head has a Prism Dress, but once again, I've never been a fan of that. Even though those items are extremely useful, even now, even at endgame, well, near endgame, I should say. 
We're damn close to endgame. Those are very useful. I still do not like... Damn, 2600. I still do not like using that for anything. Okay, there we go. Guess what attack she also uses? Hal Asian. Of course she does. Of course she does. Luckily I have quite a few lapses left over though. Should be able to handle those. Go for another ice too. See, good thing I used that lapis, otherwise Lamia would be dead right now. But we're gonna keep going with the with the ice sword too. Uh, I might actually use another lapis here because that is doing so much more damage than Luke's regular attack that I don't want to stop them from doing that. Use another lapis! MP Buster. Oh, you... You bitch, man. You bitch. What the hell is wrong with you? Alright, where's another Hyper Ether? How many of those do I got? I got 12. That's plenty! I swear that's plenty. Alright, you go for there. And then we can wait for Vash's turn again so we can use another... Ugh. Stop interrupting me with your attack so we can use another ice sword too. Go. No. Ice sword too. There we go. Hit her in the face multiple times. Attack with confuse four times. Oh, you can attack too when, when he's done. If she's still alive. We're get, we gotta be getting close to finishing her off, though. That'd be close. Maybe one more ice or two. It's gonna be enough. Lamia is by far the slowest person here. Might need, oh yeah, definitely need to use another lapis there. Lapis, go! Ice sword two, go! Is that going to be enough for the victory here? Yeah, that's why you keep all those lapis lying around. Go! I saw two. Twenty-six hundred damage is for the win. Down goes Zeal. Once you take out the head, the the hands just go away. You can't really damage them anyway. Out. But they even have more HP than the head. Technically, no, they they have less, but still a ton. How dare you, insects, come after me? Oh, Almighty Lavos, lend me your power. What? What's going on? I'm scared, you guys. I'm scared. We're gonna have to fight Lavos. Okay, somehow we got warped back to 12,000 BC, because that's the only time that the Black Omen is over the ocean like that. All the other times it's somewhere at least close to land, if not over land, but in 12,000 BC it's still over the water, and that's apparently where we've been warped to. At last, Lavos awakens compared with him. You are like germs, but I, I shall obtain immortality. Didn't we just kill you? Like, seriously, you slow dissolved. You turned into your ultimate form and slow dissolved. Where's the Black Omen going? And it's gone. What the hell? Does that mean... Does that mean we're up against Lavos? That, that kind of looks like the screen where we fought Lavos before and he totally kicked our ass. Out he comes. The Destroyer of Worlds. Lavos. Big fire. Do we do we have to fight him right now? Lavo centers attack mode. And it's a dragon tank. Okay. Uh, so let me do a, a quick explanation about how this boss fight works, because it's different from any other fight in any other game that I've ever seen, to be honest with you. In this fight, he takes on many forms, the first of which is uh, the Dragon Tank. If you guys remember the Dragon Tank, so... I I'm not exactly sure which one it is. Uh, I believe uh, that Lavos himself is the Dragon Tank, and then this one over here, I think, is... 
no, this one's the head and this one's the grinder. It's something like that. It's supposed to be a metaphor here that you're taking on all the previous bosses, I guess, or at least one of the previous bosses. And in between each of the forms, you have the full opportunity to change your party and save. Well, not save. Uh, change your party and heal. So I'm going to take advantage of that. And I'll cut it out every time I do. And using this, I'll, I'll bring everybody in for, for all these fights. So, I will be right back with my uh, well, new party, I guess you could say. <laughs> 